Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in the Cyclist Tactics with the second event in the CCPC, the Camshaft Software Crossover Play Competition. And this one is the first proper, a little bit more difficult time trial event. The first one had some uh, really mixed results as you have seen and this new one has just released. And I'm going to um, tackle it right here for you now, as I did with the first one as well. Let's have a quick look at what this event is looking like in terms of terrain. Yes, that is a mountain, all right. It is the climb up to Ike's Peak. <coughs> yeah, no, no real life references there whatsoever, of course. And uh, uh, this here is from Old Ellisbury out to the Tri Oval. And this last part here is supposed to symbolize five laps of that oval. But um, anyway, what we do have here, what we spot there, is a little cobble sector. Not a severe one, but still will be offsetting the likes of Wolfgang Krüger. And then we have a technical sector there as well. Like narrow uh, city roads and sharp corners and stuff. Not easy to handle on uh, time trial bikes. Anyway, so what is going to be our strategy? I think uh, that with only three riders counting in this event, and it's the top three riders, I think what we can do is, in a quote, sacrifice a rider. We just have to be very smart about it. So, hmm that opens up a few possibilities and makes everything way more complicated. Let's take another look at the riders and then decide what we're going to do. As per usual, put in your um, your user ID, assassinate Bob right here, and then we shall see, ah, Vladimir Frolov is our competitor. Mm. Uh, yeah, he, he won't <laughs> crush this dead, but uh, that is not why we're here. Anyway, uh, James Craig has a negative one in Mountain. He's very good on the flat, and he's our man for Tech and Cobble. Uh, Dimitri is definitely not our guy for Cobble. He sucks ass at Cobble. So, uh, this will be a little tough to get him over this first section. Uh, as is Wolfgang, of course, because he is going to struggle hard. He has a minus three in Cobble. Even worse. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. But then, Marco Villano doesn't really care. He's in the middle of the bunch. He has pretty decent stats, but uh, let's see how useful he will get. I think, yeah, if we look at this, well, there's a lot of mountain there. There's a hell of a lot of mountain there. And this first section is maybe, what could it be? Like six, 16, 15, 16 nodes long or something? It looks about, about that distance. Um, that means it's about 100 nodes of climbing, a little less. That is a long, long way. So I think Wolfgang will be one of the uh, strongest riders here. Maybe not the strongest, but um, Dimitri only has a plus one, while Wolfgang has a plus three on the mountain terrain. Mm -hmm. Marco doesn't care about either flat or uphill. He always has a plus one. The only downside to him is that he has very low attack points pull. So that's something that we need to make sure that we conserve on this first stage. And that's the same thing going up for Wolfgang there. Although we might not have much of a choice, really. I think James is going to be the one who's um, taking the short end of the stick. And he is also our man for the first TTT. Um, yeah, we probably don't want to drop anyone else. But, and he won't be dropped because he can always follow <laughs> on the flat, even if he's powered out. He probably can follow still because he has great stats. All right, I think that is our overarching um, plan here. James is going to be wasted. He's going to be our fourth rider. And we try to make the best possible for these three. I think that's a sound strategy for how scoring works in this crossover event number one. Let's get racing. 
Okay, so what do we have here? Marco Villano is up first. Uh, that is not what we want. We definitely want to have James up front. So we sign off on Marco, we sign off on Wolfgang. Dimitri can move forwards already. And then we have James. James, you lead this stuff out. Uh, we will see some struggling riders here. I don't... I don't think we get... No. No. Okay. So Wolfgang, not a happy camper. Um, this would be a good move if you wanted to sacrifice Wolfgang instead. But I think the next stage will make it worth it to not sacrifice him. I, I don't think I've tried doing this though. Yeah, it would be interesting to see. Just like ignore him and just ride right on and get a much better time for free riders and leave Wolfgang behind and he makes up some time on the next one. Uh, might be a, val a valid strategy here, um, but I think... Whoa, Wolfgang, holy shit, man. Even that move is almost destroying you. Yeah, okay, these cobbles are proper brutal on him. But I do need to land here. This is still... This is an optimal move for Dimitri. Marco is still good. And Wolfgang is just at the limit. Alright, I'm going to land here. That means for the next turn, I still have to contend with the medium technical section. Which also isn't great. But um, let's do this. We, we are moving everyone here. So reordering. I don't think we need to change anything. Let's check out this one here. This is the, the one that counts. Can we get all the way to there? Um, I, I don't know. We shall see. Uh, so James can definitely get there. That's easy for him. But um, So we have a plus two for him in this sector. We have a plus one there and a minus one and a minus... Ouch. Wolfgang with the minus four. Yeah, that, that hurts. He had a minus five there, didn't he? Minus six! Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not quite as bad this time around. But yeah, having him along is really dragging us down. We would be completely free of the sector if you sacrificed him. Maybe that's the way to go. Uh, maybe some of you have tried that for your submission. It will, will be interesting to see. Anyway, um, only one shot at it, so I'm going with this one. Uh, I try to save him. James, you stay there. And Dimitri, Wolfgang, yes, everyone stays there. We can get there with... Oh! oh holy shit, Wolfgang. Just about. He can get there. It is so vitally important that we do this right now. Let me give you some nice nuance here. If you moved short here to save some Wolfgang uh, attack points, what you have to consider is on the next turn you get a minus two to slipstream because of this sector, as you still have to tra traverse the flat three percent. While on this turn we already have the minus three here, so this one is the worst one. The minus three is applied, and this one doesn't matter because we already had a worse one. So. Um, uh, that that is the move. That is the efficient move. Let's let's go there, even though it's a little rough on poor little Wolfgang. Now what we have to consider is that James is going to cons oh he's going to drop to eight on the next turn. So maybe we should still use him. He is at eight seven. Dimitri, that is. He still has so much attack points though. So. Okay, James and Dimitri. He has a plus three. He's one faster, though. Um, and he's going to drop one. Uh, two towards the next turn. This parenthesis eight means that he's going to be um, dropping one point of speed for the next turn. As soon as I sign this off, he's going to lose that. And that is because he's getting exhausted. He has spent so much um, attack... Uh, oh, energy points that he's um, losing his energy per turn. Anyway, um, how do I want to do this? Who's going to lead this? We have loads of attack points on Dimitri. And James is getting a little low. We have a very long flat section here. We can get a maximum of seven slipstream. Hmm. 
and afterwards we can get an 8 slipstream for each move. Okay, but it looks like there are 3 turns left. So, yeah, how do we do this? Um, probably James could pull once more and then I give it over to Dimitri. Let's do that. Oh no, wait a second. Dimitri is going to diminish in um, in speed faster than James. So James will be at 8 for a little while longer. So I'm going to do the opposite. Dimitri goes to the front. He has the plus 3, he has the higher bonus. And that should be good. So Dimitri is up front and Marco just follows along and Wolfgang there. Okay, now how many attack points does Wolfgang have left? Nine. Cool. That uh, should be enough to just with lots of slipstream on the flat without technical stuff hang in there. Um, so Dimitri can go here. We can do a max attack move with James. That would get him a fair bit down the road. That's a plus 17. So 8 plus 7 plus 2. That's a plus 17 on top of free movement. Then what we also can do is a max move with Dimitri. That would give him a uh, um, plus 18. That's a lot. Okay. Do we want to do this move first? I think so. Because he will get down to a 7 there very soon. And yeah, I think that is, that is probably reasonable. Although, that costs Wolfgang 4 points of attack. Hmm, he would run out very soon if we keep up that pace. He would uh, run out too soon. Because he only has 9 left. We have 3 turns left. So we have to have some somewhat even splits. We want to... If we want to keep him along, we probably want to do three on each turn. Then he's completely exhausted. But this is important. And this is important to, to keep in mind that while, yes, he's going to be a little exhausted and not have full attack points on the next stage, which is a climbing stage, that is only one rider. Point being... That here in this one we get the time for three riders because three riders will count towards the end. Okay, mm, I think I'm going to select the one short. And Dimitri is doing just fine there. So Dimitri is diminishing now and is going to get a 7-7 seven, seven as his next maximum. That should be good though. Uh, we do have one from Craig. He is still going to be an 8-7. So we're going to do a... Can we do a max move with him? Let's um, move him to the front. And that should be good. The others don't really have to pull here. They are going to conserve as much as possible for the upcoming stage. So the question is, can we make a max move? Oh shit, easily. Um, yeah, that is a little bit bad. Although, no, not, not really. It's a... Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. I think this is non-optimal. We could have then... That means we could have invested that max move on the previous turn. That potentially would have been a little tiny bit faster. Because while um, Wolfgang will have one less attack point on the next stage, our free riders would be a touch, a, just a smidge faster in this one. So maybe I fucked it up slightly here. But yeah, I what I did forget is that 8 slipstream is now uh, the thing to look for. And here we get 7. This is a max move that gets us 8. So that's exactly what we want to do. And Wolfgang follows as well. Now, can we make another one of these moves? Um, we need to make sure that we have the right rider in front. He did make his max move, so our only chance now is um, Dimitri, and that should work out, because we have an eight. We had an eight seven plus two, so that's a um, fifteen. No, seventeen plus seventeen, and he can on the next turn make a fourteen plus three, which also is a seventeen, and that should give us eight slipstream. 
which means that Wolfgang can follow along. Maybe he even gets back an attack point? Probably not, though. So, yes, Dimitri is going to do a max attack from the front. That should solve this little puzzle. There's the 7-7 seven, seven and 8 slipstream. That's what we were looking for. Yep. Um, looking good. We're going to make that move. And that is with Dimitri. He's going to spend... He's only going to get back 1-1. One, one. Um, he's not spending that much that he won't recover in the, for the next stage fully. So this is good. Yeah. Let's go. And there. And everyone moves across the line. And Wolfgang is going to have left over two attack points. Unless he gets refunded some. Nope, he doesn't. A uh, little hard to see what uh, our scores are here. But 425 plus uh, 0.56 is our time. So that's a 481, I believe, that comes out as. Is that right? Yeah. And I believe we could have been slightly faster here. Um, I think I messed it up by one node. Uh, let me know if you got the um, got it perfect there, or maybe this is all cancelling out each other. Uh, these effects on the next stage. We shall take a look. Stage summary, and here we go. It is the big mountain, Ike's Peak. Uh, Wolfgang Krüger is among the favourites, up there with uh, Vladimir Vrolov and Eric Baker. Yes, I don't think he's going to beat those guys, but uh, we shall see. Now, let's take a look at recovery. Full recovery for James. Full recovery for everyone, apart from Wolfgang. And I think he's going to take a little bit of a slow start here, with the flat being there and just hindering his general movement. Uh, a little reminder is that Wolfgang... Uh, where do we have his tooltip? He is there. Uh, Wolfgang does get a, um, a zero in flat and has a plus three in mountain. Let's get into the race and I'll show you there. And the first rider who's up is Wolfgang Krüger. So let's take a look at, at this here. Well, we are kind of starting with false flat. Um, flat three, not great. And he does have a zero in flat, so he doesn't get any bonuses going here. There's a zero right there. But I want... So if we moved in here, it would count the um, the bad stuff that was here. That is the flat. But um, also, this one leaves us with three extra movement points. And seeing that he's very low on attack points in general, and this climb is fucking massive, it's... Yeah, it's brutal. Um, I think we have to land there. For riders who have it the opposite direction, it might, may, it might make sense to, um, if they have enough attack, just go, get into the mountain and get it going. But I think he needs to conserve a little here. So let's let's move there. This is an ITT. There's, there's no slipstream here. So, um, James. James, you are the one that we said would be wasted. And... Um, yeah, I, I don't know how you're supposed to to get this done. Um, do we want to... Yeah, I think I'm... He's also low on attack points. Dimitri is not low on attack points. So here, I'm seriously considering to um, move him into the mountain. He has 25 attack points. So let's see. If we moved... Um, let's, let's take a look at this future terrain here. This is very important if you plan moves like that. There is a lot of threes, twos, threes, and then fours again. So ideally, we would want to get somewhere there and then be able to jump it and get to the 7% card. And then from there, there's nothing really good. We can't jump from there to there. That will be way too far. So there's one turn where we land in the freeze, then another turn where we, if we go super long, we would be able to reach the five over here. But otherwise, this section with fours, and if we land at the start of the fours, we can go to the middle of the fives. 
then into the fours here or there and then across the line okay and it becomes really steep towards the end all right all right yeah this is um this is tricky but there there are a lot of moves and there are more moves than five turns so i'm i'm pondering to place myself down here he is already losing energy per turn mm, so I'm wasting the opportunity to spend one extra energy if I land there. That could be significant. Although here I'm kind of wasting uh, two attack points. Okay, it took me a while to think about this. But I, I think you could see it like this. Here we get three extra movement points, right? But it also, moving in here also allows us to spend more energy and be efficient so this is kind of free kind of free movement um it will make the energy per turn drop a little quicker if we make this move throughout the stage but on the other hand he will be um losing that anyway really really quickly at least at the start so if we wanted to go here then really it is down to how many points of energy uh, of attack we want to invest how long will this last so let's make a few preview moves and just assume that we can move um, eight energy. Yes, eight energy. Um, so if we moved into the mountain with a big move to start with, would we be able to reach this point? The answer is yes. Then do we get into a reasonable part here? Um, yeah, yeah. This is not optimal, okay. Would want to be a little slower there in between so that we can match that up. I think I'm going to try and move him in here to make this move. Because that seems powerful. Yes, that does seem powerful. Because we do get the four there. It does cost us a lot of attack though. So um, he does have a high pull, but yes, okay. Let's let's do it with this rider. Marco Villano definitely doesn't have the attack to be doing this. Although he does have the skills to do this move. Um, so 18. And yeah, considering that this is going probably going to take something like 6 to 7 turns. That means 3 attack per turn. Is it worth it spending it here though? I think for him the answer is probably not. He would be able to make that jump too, would he? Yeah, pretty easily. But it would cost a lot of attack points that he will need to make some of the important jumps later on where he needs to jump over bad terrain. So I'm also going to keep him down there. And who's riding there? Dino Lombardi, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course he is. But um, yeah, okay. Dimitri can now make that jump. He's spending, uh, he only has 14 attack points left after this. But this is a good move. It is quite efficient. It's very fast compared to this one. And it's somewhat efficient because he gets the four here. Can he make the jump into reasonable freeze from there? I believe so. Oh yeah, yeah, he can. Even the 10% section is no worse there. And then we can make a jump to here. Okay, yeah, it's not, not too bad. Let's uh, get exactly to that point. For Wolfgang, it looks a little different. So he doesn't have that much attack points. He doesn't want to be short of spending energy. Um, he does want to probably go there. Yes, and slowly grind his way up. Craig really, really doesn't matter. James here. Old James is going to suffer. Marco Villano, what do we do with you? Uh, we could be efficient about it and move him just to here, saving his attack for later. He is going to diminish in energy though, uh, which means that our range is hampered. But if we move here, and in the next one we can easily move to a good four. And from there, can we re- Ooh. He would be able to just barely reach. Hmm, is that worth it? Um, yeah, I, I guess we can make this one 
this one. It's very slow at right now, but um, yeah, I think it works out. I think it works out. Let's see how it goes. Dimitri is still powering. He only has the f those 14 points left. If we go anywhere here, let's make it so that it is pretty much optimal for we where we want to land there. There's still so much to come. We have to be a little slow on the resource u usage. So if we move there... Ooh, uh, yeah, okay. If we move there, that's looking better. It doesn't really matter. As long as we can reach it without um, being stung by losing max attack or whatever. So, uh, yes, in the middle, right in the 10% mountain section. Wolfgang Krüger is missing out on this mountain section here. The, uh, the best one. And how can he do... There, okay, he does reach that seven mount and then can get into the five. Yep, I think this is about right for a move. And now it's James. Uh, I think he's just going to continue to suffer up this climb. Um, he can't make the jump from here to there anyway. So he has to have uh, an intermediate turn there. So let's move there. That's fine. So Marco now. Let's see if... Oh, no! <laughs> he's one short. Ah, oh, damn it. That means he can equally well go just middle-ish. And then go to here. And then into this one. And then from here to somewhere here. And then jump across. Yeah, likely. Alright, I'm going to select this one. Just two attack points. Dimitri. Hmm, okay. They were a little inefficient there, jumping into the freeze. Not that, that it matters, but uh, if we move here... Okay, this was this move, yeah. Um, can we... Oh, these are all fours. So we do want to end up somewhere. We have 11 left. If we move here... 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter as long as we make solid... Oh, well... Uh, do need to have those resources remaining. Um, so yes, there, and then into the fives, and from there into the fours, and then across the line. Wolfgang is slowly, slowly but surely, creeping back his way up there. There's Eric Baker. We do want to catch the four, so let's go there. Marco. You will definitely beat uh, James Craig, so you are important. Um, we do want you, you to be placed such that you can make a decent move into the fives. Uh, so how about somewhere here? This would use attack, that's good. And then we move here and we still use attack, so we can be a little bit more conservative even. Only use two here, that's fine. James is struggling. He won't matter, though, because he's just way too slow. Oh, it's fine, but I still want to get a decent result for him. Um, how about uh, moving him there? Can he... Yeah, okay, and then make the jump into the fours. Dimitri, where do you want to land? Okay, this is looking solid. So definitely in the fives. If we move you... Here, spend three. You have six remaining. That would be moving you there. Then you have two remaining, and then you can jump across the finish. Or, you can move you all the way there. Let's see. What happens if we... No, yeah, okay. It doesn't make any difference for how far we get. So, um, let's move you there. Wolfgang Krüger is catching up slowly but surely. <laughs> Uh, how do we move you? Okay, same thing here. Does have a few more points left over, though. If we move you there... No, nope, you can also just get to here. You, you're prob probably wondering again, but why not the four? It's more efficient. Yes, it is, but this gives us, with the line being there, for the next move, the better ratio. So you would want to jump into that mountain. And I think I'm going to do that. Just um, join Dimitri there. And Marco is still doing well. He's um, 
Yeah, his energy per turn is going to diminish there for the next one. He's one turn behind the uh, the favorites and Wolfgang and so on, but uh, he's still doing well. He has plenty of attack points left. So I think his final moves will be quite strong compared to the competition. That doesn't mean he needs to be reckless or anything. I do want him to land in the fives there, and this is perfectly adequate. So let's do this. And now the big move for James into the fours. Nice. Hmm. Who's that? Eric Baker is going hard. Dimitri, what can we do with you? What does your next turn look like? He would be diminishing one in attack. Oh no. And then he can just barely creep across the line. He hits five beyond the line. And he hits four beyond the line. So what do we want to do? Four beyond the line. There is four before the line. No, um, five before the line. And here it is a lot more before the line as a ratio. Yeah, yeah. This is a worse ratio. So I think we do want to land here. Despite it looking a little weird. Oh, uh, yes. Go ahead. And for Wolfgang... Do we do the same? So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, that's equal ratio there. It's easy to calculate. And here it is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, this is worse. This is clearly worse. So uh, we are signing off on this move for Wolfgang. And Marco Villano, he's so far behind. So damn far behind. But going to see him speed up a little here now. So, um, he does have 11 points left. And he can spend 8. Oh, that puts him there on the next turn. That's good. Let's go. And James, uh, yeah, you just go, mate. You go hard. Vladimir Vrolov. He did have enough, and Eric Baker too. Uh, Dimitri coming in at 660, uh, and then we have Wolfgang coming in at 650. He has redeemed himself. And there comes Marco Villano sprinting up the mountain with a max attack. Uh, I think that's also better to do so like this, for the ratio reasons. And there comes James. All right, moving across the line with Marco at the 7. 40. And that is the last rider that counts. 780 for uh, James. And there we have it. Uh, let's switch over to the global results. Everyone is fitting on the same thing. Let me um, just calculate those values for you. So my total times here are 1134, 1144, 1224, and 1264. Hmm, I think I messed up somewhere just a tiny, tiny bit. Like, talking about a one-note difference with one rider. Um, it feels like it's, it's off a little bit from the perfect result that he could have. But uh, you tell me. Maybe you beat it. So, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. And congratulations, you have completed this event. And your scores have been submitted for evaluation. Let's see how that goes. Uh, hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.